Welcome to CAD Concept. Today we have something great. Every technology have always the possibility to implement. There is no limit, but always has a new beginning. Well, we are here with ZWCAD 2025. ZWCAD or AutoCAD, same as it is. No learning curve. You can transform your experience almost in zero waiting time. ZWCAD 2025 offers powerful 3D and other great features that enhance its capabilities for designers and architects. We'll explore 10 enhanced features in ZWCAD 2025. Vector graphic, faster PDF import, smaller PDF compressed, customized user interface, floating windows, automatic property hiding, Quick Revision Cloud Draw Concentric and Oblique Rectangle Check Line Connection and 3D Enhancement So, without wasting time, let's begin! Number 1. Vector Graphic This problem I face personally. How to convert image into drawing format? Any scanned image, okay? For example, this image file we have, okay? Let this Drag and drop here in ZWCAD, okay? Vectorization, select your image, enter, and select your object, let this here. This is the best possible way and only way in ZWCAD to convert image into drawing format. As you see here, you are getting perfect image conversion into drawing format using vector graphic. Number two, faster PDF import. First, you'll see ZWCAD 2024. Okay, how we import usually. Let this PDF import and select your PDF file. Okay, number of five files you have. Okay, so this is 2024. We will compare. Okay, see, you have to click repeatedly. You are not getting all in one time, and there is no any layer management. Okay, same as it is, we will see 2025. Okay, let this here. PDF import. Select your PDF file same as it is. Okay. And this is very important. Use PDF layer. This is your additional feature. And just okay. You're getting entire PDF at a time in ZWCAD 2025. As you see here. You do not require any repeated click to get number of sheets. And the best thing is you are getting proper layer management. Number three, smaller PDF compressed. This 12 MB file we have, okay? Number of 12 sheets. How to compress in approximate 5 MB, the same file, okay? Let this here, plot, property, customize property, maximum register DPI. Let this minimum, okay, okay, and okay. Apply to layout, just close. And let this, ZW Smart Plot. Okay. Select your base drawing and just here plot. This is okay. You are getting number of 12 sheets in one PDF. Okay. And the best thing is we are expecting it should be around 5 MB. Okay. Same file. Okay. We are getting 5 MB. So this way you can compress huge drawing file into a smaller size. There are the challenge in submission as I experience. If you have smaller size, you can submit easily. Number four, customize user interface. Now you have freedom to customize your user interface as per your preferences. As you see here, as much as tools I want, I can customize as per my requirements and I can place as per preferred location, as you see here, we are getting entire user interface fully customized as much as we want. You can expand and you can minimize this way, as you see here. Let this here and here. We are getting something amazing. So, the only tools you need to work, you can keep that much only. You do not need to keep tons of tools. As we know, the tools only we use regularly, we can keep simply 
and we can proceed with our work. So this way you can customize your entire user interface and you can expand from here simply. And let this come back to normal. Draw panel, if you lock this here, you will get as it is. So you can lock your tools something here. Number five, floating window. For example, you had two window, you had two monitor, and you want to switch your drawing tab, okay? So let this just pick this one and put it here. So you can switch multiple monitor at a time, as you see here. So we are getting number of two monitor, and we can perform the task at the same time with both the monitors. So not just two only, you can connect multiple monitors at a time, as you see here. So floating window allow you to switch your multiple monitor at a time. Number six, automatic property hiding. So you will hide property, okay, let this tool palette. So we are getting here our tool palette, okay. When I'll come back to model space, it will hide automatically. I just perform the task. Let this here move, okay. So as much as tools you want, you can take from here. Let this trim. See, when I perform the task in model space, the tools automatically got hide. So not limited to tools only. Hash pattern, drawing tools, architectural, electrical, and tons of components you are getting over there. So this way you can hide your property just by providing the tools you need, not just tool palettes you can provide object property also for example let this line type here and when you place your when you customize your setting and when you will come back to normal it will automatically hide and you can switch your property hiding tab also let this one so you are getting up and down or left or right now we are getting two panel over here so let this here auto hiding this one also well you are getting one for property and one entire tool parrot. So this way you can perform your task seamlessly. So this way you can hide your property panel. Number seven, quick revision cloud. As we know revision cloud we use everywhere almost. So let this rectangular and take rectangular area. Means you do not require to customize any setting. So you have quick option in ZWCAD to provide revision cloud, whether circle, polygon, ellipse, rectangle, at a time, even freehand also. Let this ellipse and take this point. And here also, this is okay. Let this freehand and let this here simply. Number eight, draw concentric and oblique rectangle. We'll see concentric rectangle. Let this base point. And go randomly this area something like this as you see here you're getting four points dynamic movement for your rectangle and not limited to this just click repeatedly as you see here so this way you can provide concentric rectangle at a time for your object something like this simply same as it is here also let this here four point dynamic movement for your rectangle and repeatedly you are getting multiple offset line as you see here. concentric circle okay let this point and first circle second circle you do not require to provide offset value just randomly go like this concentric polygon and let this here now you see here so this way you can draw concentric multiple object at a time Oblique rectangle. Let this oblique rectangle. This feature is very important. We will use in parking planning. Okay. First point and second point and go like this as you see here. So this way you can draw your oblique rectangle. Now it got identified. Just go like this. So if you have tapered area and you want to place your oblique rectangle, this is the best way and only way. Number nine, check closed lines. We'll see where the gap we are getting over here. Where we don't have any boundary. Let this check. Line connection, select all, enter. See, some point got selected. The reason these are the lines, which is not closed boundary. And here we are getting complete closed boundary. 
So this is the only way you can check your line connections, whether you are getting boundary or not. Number 10, 3D enhancement. One of the most favorite, let this extrusion, wall extrusion, okay, at a time. Extrude, and this one also. Subtract, just select all, enter. And not limited to this, let this window area move, 120, extrude, 120. Door area, let this extrude, select similar, extrude 240. Well, we will sum entirely. Select your object, select all, enter. You are getting seamless 3D experience in ZWCAD 2025. This is the only way to switch 3D experience in ZWCAD seamlessly. You are getting multiple orbital mode. We will see here. Free hand, let this here, other mode, free orbit, continuous orbit, and just provide reference. It will revolve at 360 angle your entire 3D model, revolving fully automatic. Other mode, you are getting multiple orbital mode, visual styles. You are getting multiple visual styles in ZWCAD 2025. Switching 3D is just now easy in ZWCAD 2025. We will explore residential building 3D modeling, okay, in ZWCAD 2025. Must leave your comments. Let this parallel view and perspective view. This way you can transform your viewing experience. Okay, ZWCAD gizmo feature. Let this scale gizmo. Select your 3D model. So you are getting three points for scaling, whether X or Y or Z. If you have any 3D component and you want to scale particular component at particular points, whether X or Y or Z, rotation, scale, movement, or fully transform, you can do using Gizmo feature. As you see, we are rotating this 3D model straight to X, straight to Y, or straight to Z at a time, as you see. So this way you can utilize gizmo feature to transform your object simply. So switching 3D is just now easy in ZWCAD 2025. I hope you got these insights helpful. Must download ZWCAD 2025 and take a try. One of the best thing I like ZWCAD perpetual license. Whether you have option, subscription base or you can go perpetual license means Perpetual licensing allow you own ZWCAD forever. Must take a try. You will get ZWCAD 30 day free trial. I hope you got this video helpful. Must like, share and subscribe. If you have anywhere any doubt, must leave your comments as soon as possible. I will reply your query. Thanks for watching. See you in next video with another topic.